hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we really appreciate we do not take your support for granted we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we've got a breaking one this one that just happened is surprising and very shocking buhari's minister of justice abubaka malami slumps wow he slumped in a function and um, he was resuscitated and then um, taken to um, a medical uh, uh, facility and this happened during an event and this has raised a lot of reaction that um, what is going on you know some some persons uh, the way nigerians are angry with um, buhari's administration right now not they are not just angry without a cause we know the injustice that have been meted on us the sort of injustice is too bad the 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 the, the way they, they we, we are living the country it looks like we don't deserve anything it looks like they they have all the benefit they have all the rights everything is in their hands and nigerians are praying seriously that uh, god will show us mercy and fight our battles reactions have been coming in that um, god is already fighting for us and anyone that does not want nigeria to move on <laughs> they will be they will be removed from the way well let's find out what really happened how um this um happened how he slump what led to that but before we do my beautiful people please don't forget to like share and to subscribe press the bell as well press on that notification bell god bless you abubakar malami nigerian's minister of justice has recently slumped during an official assignment in sokoto northern nigeria the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, slumped before being revived. According to a report monitored by AG's GIST, Nigeria on the Wheel, the Minister of Justice was immediately surrounded by worried aides and dignitaries who successfully resuscitated him from the ground. Malami was in Sokoto for the opening of the restored state high court complex after returning from an official visit to turkey witnesses said the minister of justice seemed tired after his speech and he collapsed and had to be revived according to the paper according to a close source close to the agf he is currently in a hospital in abuja after being transported sick from sokoto wow this this one is um, surprising uh, but uh it's been said now right now that uh, this must have been as a result of stress stress related that he only just returned from turkey official assignment let's hope he went for an official assignment and um, after that journey that um, he went to sokoto and even during his speech it was noticed that um, stress was all over showing all over all over him but now with all of this news like these guys nigerians are not praying for them it's not like we wish anybody bad but the the, the thing is what you saw you will repeat these guys are not wishing nigerians where well. they don't want us to have better life what's what are they expecting what are they expecting we know different clergies have come with different prophecies that um, god is going to arise judgment is going to come upon all evil leaders we know recently it's been said that malami is part of a cabal is 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 you know after Abakiari, it looks like a Malami is the <laughs> is a force right now within presidency. The one calling the shots, the one uh, uh, making things happen, and the ones doing all sorts within presidency. Well, let's pray. We 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 don't we we're not praying anyone dead, but you know Nigerians are stating right now that uh, uh, is the judgment of God that is coming upon all of these our corrupt leaders who don't want um the average nigeria the masses to have the same kind of uh, um to enjoy the same kind of life you know I, I, let's just even look at only one sector you know the power sector these ministers all of them governors all of them lawmakers do they really stay in blackout they don't they don't i can imagine the the amount of money they spend um to uh, uh, get um gen to get um their houses powered so to them they, they that is their i don't know is their right maybe they are they are thinking that uh, yes it's 
they, they are meant to have it and the rest of Nigerians should not enjoy such. What about the security in the country? Most of them, they go out about with oddlies, with security aids and all of that. The average Nigerian does not have that. So they don't see any reason to take the case of security seriously. So there are a lot of areas that they are not really doing right. This Attorney General of the Federation, we know there has been loads of corruption charges um, on his head. He's been able to turn them um, somehow. You know the new um, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the new EFCC chairman that was just appointed um speculations are going around that um, abuba kamalami was the one who who sealed all of that because bawa is loyal to him all of, when anytime we hear about corruption in the country guys corruption means what is meant to be for everyone only one person pulls it to himself and his family and that is not fair that is evil that is wicked that is what we are experiencing but every now and then they come out to tell us that um, they are working for the good of the country. They don't need to tell us if they're actually working for the good and the, the advancement of this country would see it. They don't even need to preach it. They don't need to say it out. Everyone will see it. That's, um, that's the way things um, should be done. But So this one, this report, this one has just happened. So, so far, what is going on right now is that he has been um, taken to a hospital. I'm sure they will do medical checkup on him see what is going on if he's more than stress related or what is happening with him a, a very close source um stated that um, he was taken to a hospital in abuja let's hope that that abuja that hospital there is equipped because these guys is the way you lay your bed that's the way you will lie on it hospitals are not properly equipped no um equipment nothing that was why buhari could not even undergo a checkup medical checkup in the country he had to go to the united kingdom no the, no no equipment these hospitals are not equipped and they are telling us apc's government they are telling us that um, they've done so much for the country they've um, changed things they've turned things around they are just working for themselves we know the protests have been ongoing in the united kingdom against president Mohammed buhari that he should return back to the country return back to the country and use the same hospital the hospital that you built the attorney general of the federation um is uh is is to me all of uh, anyone working under buhari they are all under uh, they are all appointees they will definitely do his bid they are loyal to him so they are all in the same train since buhari doesn't want the good of the country the same thing follows for this um, abu bakamalami he doesn't want the good of the people so now that um, he's hospitalized i don't know if now if it's nigerians are praying for him but guys uh let's hear your own take drop us your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.